Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. Uh, my name is Brian Zakowski and we are exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5. This video is going to be very short. Um, all we're talking about here is the anti-aliased artwork option in the uh, preferences panel. So if you don't already, open up a document, just go to f File New and accept whatever the default is on your machine, that would be fine. Uh, I already have a document open which I like to use in these Cartoon Smart tutorials. Uh, we have a little guest here. It's a guy reading a paper from one of my cartoons in which you can see at DementedDenizens.com Anyway, we are talking about um, the preference uh, in the Preferences General panel called Anti-Aliased anti-aliased artwork. Now your preferences in Windows is going to be under your edit menu so take a look there for it. And uh, okay by default it's usually checked as far as I know I believe it is. I, I have been using this program for a while now so whatever the defaults were I kinda kinda forget what they what they were set at originally. Alright nonetheless uh, by default it's set to on and uh, you can see that um, when you zoom in, um, just type your Z on the keyboard, hold it down, and your left mouse button will zoom in. Um, also, um, Command or Control minus on your keyboard will also help you zoom in and out. Uh, the, the video is not about that. so. Anyway, but if you zoom way in, you'll notice that these lines on the artwork that I created uh, is very crisp and smooth, as you would expect in a vector artwork program. And you'll see um, on Justin's logo here uh, that it is actually a raster image. So zooming in, you can see that it's very, very pixelated. Uh, it's actually a PNG um, on on a lower level or lower layer I'm sorry so let's uh, move our character a little bit more into the screen here and if I go back to preferences general and undo the anti-aliased artwork option and click OK and accept that you'll notice that the artwork is a little bit more jagged looking and even if I zoom out, it's still going to have that little jagged look. It's very evident right here along the top of the chair. So uh, the only reason that exists um, in Adobe Illustrator is that it's been in previous versions of Illustrator since since way, way back. And the reason for it is that some machines would bog down when previewing the uh, artwork um, in uh, in an anti-aliased uh, format. So this is non-anti-aliased and it just shows that um, shows what it would look like actually if you were to go ahead and, and export this to the web uh, zoomed in it would show you know you know the pixels and, and all that. So if we go back to preferences general reselect anti-aliased artwork it's back to normal and smooth and that the only it's only for the preview within Illustrator it really has nothing to do with with the output um, of your image uh, or, if you're, or if you were to print it um, Adobe Illustrator is a primarily a print uh, program for outputting to print you know for industry like signs potato chip bags cereal boxes you name it signs on the sides of trucks but Illustrator is typically used in a professional uh, environment such as such as that but doesn't mean you can't do things for the web with it it's actually very good uh, for doing things uh, you know for for screen and in, in the internet and the web uh, but that's all it really is for uh, within Illustrator is just uh, just to save on graphics processing which most of you are not going to need anymore that's just kind of a relic within Adobe Illustrator. So if you're ever wondering, you know, what's the reason for that?
that's it. All right, for CartoonSmart.com, um, I am Brian Zakowski, and I hope this little tidbit of information was useful to you, and I will see you in the next video.